ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ಪಿಶಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ we continue from verse number 33 onwards chapter 4 verse number 33 verse number 33 reads shreyan dravya mayat yagnya jnana yagnya parantapa sarvam karma kilam partha jnane parisamapyate shreyan dravya mayan yagnya ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯಜ್ಞ ಪರಂತಪ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮಾಕಿಲಂ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪರಿಸಮಾಪ್ಯತೆ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಓ ಪರಂತಪ ಆಲ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಕಲ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ this jnana yajna what he referred to as swadhyaya this swadhyaya jnana yajna arjuna is far superior to dravya yajna all actions culminate in wisdom all actions without exception culminate in wisdom first all actions without exception culminate in wisdom means all actions means all yajna karmas that is implied here it's not all action means not the general discussion of uh, selfish and selfish selfless actions we talk about here in this context all action means all yajna type of actions without exception completely in its entirety takes you to wisdom this is making the direct statement sarvam karma akilam partha jnane parisamapyate it will give you wisdom a direct declaration of this sacrifice of wisdom the jnana yajna is superior to dravya yajnat yajnat means plural in comparison to all other yajnas jnana yajna is superior best now why he is making the one hand he is saying all takes to wisdom on the other hand he is saying this is superior to the this is superior to the to the rest now again you feel like asking him say one thing again you feel like telling him say one thing very clearly all yajnas culminate in wisdom means there is there, there cannot be a superiority if you are bringing in a superiority then and this contradiction he is saying in the same verse or rendu verse kaichi contradiction kurta kuda it is okay we will miss it you know because we are all uh, when we study this verse we miss the previous verse no so therefore if he has so if he talks in that way at least we can at least we can understand in the same verse he is saying all yajnas without exception culminate in in wisdom arjuna jnana yajna is superior to all other yajnas now what is this jnana yajna superior to all other wisdom 
ज्ञान यज्ञ इस श्रेयां ज्ञान यज्ञ इस सुपीरियर बिकॉज़ ज्ञान यज्ञ गिव्स मोक्ष डायरेक्टली ज्ञान यज्ञ इस द डायरेक्ट पाथ फॉर मोक्ष लिबरेशन अदर यज्ञस इस ए प्रिपरेशन टू कम टू ज्ञान यज्ञ he maintains the same tune that he starts from chapter 3 karma yoga and all other yajnas is a preparation for inner purification that inner purification you come to gnana you, you you gain this gnana you are qualified for gnana yoga and gnana yoga gives moksha this is the this is the tune he doesn't change the um, he doesn't change the tune is superior because all other are indirect means dravya yajna and other types of yajna are indirect means what are the other type of yajnas again we refer to the previous verse number 28 where he spoke about uh, um, where he spoke about dravya yajna tapo yajna yoga yajna swadhyaya gyana yajna so what he is referring to here is the swadhyaya gnana yajna why it is superior because it gives moksha directly sakshan mokshaika sadhanam this is the direct path for atma bodha he says sakshan mokshaika sadhanam this is the direct means for liberation gnanam is the direct means for liberation rest aids in gaining knowledge so the indirect means and then the direct means the indirect means the direct means and that which gives direct is always not superior in the sense of inferior it is it gives you the shreyas why it gives you the shreyas because it can directly lead to moksha second why this is superior because in all other yajnas you can get stuck somewhere you can get stuck somewhere and you can be lost in that in swadhyaya gnana yajna that is not in swadhyaya gnana yajna that is not possible the possibility of getting stuck doesn't happen happen here why because you are constantly doing this abhyasa you know that you have not yet realized the self and you know that the purpose is to the purpose is to realize the the self so right till the end the possibility of getting stuck is not possible here in all other yajnas you can get you can get stuck if you are not careful in all other yajnas you can get stuck in those yajnas itself meaning you can get stuck in your very goodness you can get stuck in your very unselfishness in your own goodness you can be stuck in your own unselfishness you can be you can be stuck no doubt it is better but still you are stuck no doubt it is better no doubt it is good than being selfish and uh, self centered but still you will be still you will be stuck in gnana yajna that doesn't in gnana yajna it doesn't happen why because gnana yajna says it's not erudition it's not scholarship it's not the number of books you have read it's not the number of discourses you can give it is not how elaborately you can explain all that doesn't come under gnana yoga and what is gnana yoga swadhyaya gnana yajna what is gnana yoga nitya anitya viveka that being gnanam you are supposed to constantly when you are constantly in the process of nitya and anitya you don't get you don't get stuck our problem is if i keep on doing this nitya 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 life will get too boring no sir life will get okay ninga class la solra varaikum we will listen to it after that we will we have to get back to our normal life no then only life will continue no if we constantly keep doing this nitya 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 what we will do in life after that um, after that what we will after this what we will do you will attain you will attain moksha what you will do you will get you will get moksha 
sir mokshathnal enna prayojanam what is the benefit of moksha avladha oh, that person is not qualified for jnana yagna go back to go back to the preparatory practices supposing the person asks what is the benefit of moksha what is the benefit of wealth you can ask what is the benefit of name and fame you can ask and if you ask what is the benefit of moksha krishna says go back go back to karma yoga start uh, start all uh, start all over again and one day you will mature and come to recognize what jnana yagna is jnana yagna is superior when we say jnana yagna you have to be again very clear in what is jnana yagna giving away sacrifice of wisdom sacrifice of wisdom also jnana yagna is superior because how much ever you give it doesn't diminish in all other things you give something diminishes in jnana yagna nothing nothing diminishes more you teach more you learn whether the other is understanding or not we really don't know more you teach more more you learn so in jnana yagna nothing diminishes just as when you light there is the there is one lamp from that one lamp you light a millions of lamps but that original lamp doesn't that original lamp doesn't that light is not lost in any way so in that sense you give you give you give you don't you don't lose therefore jnana yagna is superior what is jnana yagna the segregation of subject and object itself is illusory that is jnana yagna the two things as subject and object itself is ajnanam it is only essentially it is only one that is jnana yagna again i repeat jnana yagna is the recognition that there are no two there are no two subject and object there is no two god and the devotee of god that duality doesn't exist in gyan that is superior what is the what is gyan where the duality what is the duality the devotee and and to that which you are devoted to that segregation doesn't exist that is gyan yoga so from any angle if you look at it See, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, repeating. I'm just summarizing it very fast because all, all this we have dealt with elaborately. I'm not going into the details of any one of these statements. All that we have dealt elaborately, I'm summarizing. Why? Because he is summarizing. All yagnas culminate in in wisdom. I've been culminate panitar na aulada. Don't worry. Rest of the Bhagavad Gita, you will not hear yagna karma anymore. All yagnas culminate in wisdom athoda yagna is over abada we also get a we also get a relief in the the corona lockdown kuda mudinjalum mudinjirum polarku looks like you don't finish the looks like you don't uh, finish the 12 yagna portion i'm summarizing because he has concluded all yagnas culminate in all yagnas culminate in in wisdom is the conclusion before that he is making an extraordinary statement what is that jnana yagna is superior o parantapa jnana yagna is superior on what basis it is called superior on what basis we call it as superior that's why i am giving the various the, the 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 various points on which we call it as the when we means not we the shastra the vedanta calls it as superior where the segregation doesn't exist what is the segregation the segregation of devotee and 
to that which you are devoted to the duality doesn't exist where there is duality the nitya anitya viveka vichara comes are you able to follow now we are working backwards we are seeing duality since we are seeing the duality we are working backwards what is working backwards of the two what is nityam what is anityam since i am seeing the two i am bringing in the distinction what is it the constant vichara i am doing the constant enquiry what is enquiry what is nitya and what is anityam what is permanent what is impermanent since this direct vichara gives you moksha he says the sacrifice of wisdom is superior shreyan see the shreyan gar dond english la superior we have to translate direct benefit it gives that's what it means shreyas the sanskrit word shreyas doesn't mean superior but in english we have to uh, we, we have to use the word superior what it means is it gives you the direct shreyas is that which gives you the direct direct benefit ultimately all yajnas culminate in wisdom what is the wisdom jnane parisamapyate ultimately everything result in wisdom what is the ultimate uh, in wisdom all yajnas jeevatma paramatma aikyam the oneness of jeevatma and paramatma the identity of subject and the object is jnana so all yajnas culminate in in wisdom arjuna now i am not going into the details of the description of the four yajnas how how this drava what is the drava yajna tapo yajna yoga yajna swadhya yajna i am not discussing those i am not discussing those details for just now we have just now we finished that dravya yajna material wealth tapo yajna physical yoga yajna giving emotion and knowledge distinct and different from all that is jnana yajna and we have to add the word swadhyaya what he uses there he is not using the word swadhyaya in the course of understanding we add <coughs> we add the word swadhyaya and say swadhyaya jnana yajna sacrifice of wisdom yajna means service and sacrifice yajna means service and sacrifice that's what yajna is to put it very simply these four yajnas talks about the service and sacrifice in the ascending order dravya yajna is the dravya yajna is the the lowest better than that is physical better than that is emotional better than that is intellectual this emotional intellectual is combined as one yajna and then comes giving sacrificing serving the temporary sacrificing for the temporary serving the temporary visavi saying that you are not saying that you are not limited you are not temporary are able to understand the distinguish the difference one is to serve and sacrifice for the temporary another thing is to say you are not temporary you are not limited one thing is to serve the limited what is serving the limited means body is limited mind is intel mind is limited intellect is limited the world is limited one is to serve the limited another thing is to say another thing is to explain 
another thing is to make everybody realize that the very belief that you think the very notion that you have that you are limited itself is wrong for you are the infinite for you are the self that is called jnana yajna and when you are uh, when you are conferring the infinite status when it's not conferring when you are when you are educating the person about their true nature automatically that makes it that gives better shreyas no automatically that gives better better shreyas shreyas means benefit which doesn't diminish shreyas are going they say shreyas means what benefit that doesn't benefit that should not diminish in all other shreyas the benefits in all other shreyas the benefit will will diminish what is the diminishing you give money that fellow will spend it he comes back to it comes back to zero it it is diminished you give emotions you give knowledge for this janma it is okay for this janma it is okay what about that fellow moving into the next you are attending to the sharira but what about the jiva you you are not doing anything to the to the jiva at all so this dravya yajna tapo yajna yoga yajna all that is the benefit that is done to the sharira the jnana yajna deals with the jiva and it says you are not the jiva in that sense it is long term benefit in that sense it doesn't diminish at all lastly to do jnana yajna you need a penetrating capacity to do jnana yajna you should be convinced first of all that sharira there is this jiva which is occupying the sharira and that jiva has to be helped that you need to be convinced if you yourself is stuck at the level of the body mind intellect if you yourself is stuck at the level of the body mind and intellect what could appear as better service to you what will look like better service to you serving the body mind and intellect only will look like service to you no 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 i will not develop this penetrating capacity allah let the shastra shout on top of their ways whatever they want to shout i will be i will be stuck to the body mind intellect component only because of me stuck to body mind intellect component what i will conclude dravya yajna is superior tapo yajna is superior yoga yajna is superior swadhyaya so, gyan yajna doesn't exist at all nadan swadhyaya yajna alla pesna kuda or check kudta what a joy it gives hmm? i don't know whether giving you is joyful or not when i receive it it is very joyful la swadhyaya where is the swadhyaya gyan yajna superior giving shreyas alla how does it even how does it even connect you need that penetrating capacity what is that penetrating capacity to look at you not as the sharira but you but you understand yourself as the when you understand yourself not as the sharira but as the jiva and shreyas has to be done to the jiva not to the not to the sharira and what is shreyas to the jiva shreyas to the jiva is gnanam what is the gnanam you are you have a separate existence from god you have a separate identity from god is ajnanam you don't you and god don't share separate identities you and god share you and god share the same identity tat tvam asi tat tvam asi this is jnana yajna 
and we understand at least theoretically that it is superior. Superficially, they are different. Essentially, one. That is jnana. This is the definition of knowledge. Superficially, they appear to be different. Essentially, they are the same. Is knowledge. Superficially, distinctions exist. But essentially, the distinctions do not exist. And jnanam is looking at the essential, not paying attention to the superficial. Rabya yajna, tapo yajna, yogi yajna and all attend to the periphery. Jnana yajna attend to the core. Vedanta says, leave the periphery and get to the leave the periphery and get to the get to the core. And to get to the core, you need that penetrating you need that penetrating capacity. But I don't have that penetrating capacity. Looks like uh, it is very tough and difficult and all that. Looks like it is very impractical. Looks like it doesn't help immediately. So when I am having all these kind of samshayas, when I am having all these kind of doubts, what do you do? Go back to go back to Sravana and Karma Yoga. Go back to Sravana and, and Karma Yoga. That's why Swamiji keeps on saying, keep listening, keep listening, keep listening, keep listening. Why? Because the doubts are not doubts are not yet cleared. The Ola Ketal doubt still remains the the fundamental doubt remains the same only. Therefore, Jnana Yajna is superior to all other Yajnas. But Arjuna, don't worry. Don't lose heart. All Yajnas culminate in all Yajnas culminate in in wisdom. All Yajnas culminate in wisdom. Sarva Karma Akilam. Beautiful word. Sarvam Karma Akilam. Akilam means without exception. Well, yajnas that I spoke about Arjuna, without exception, it leads you to wisdom. Of that, some are preparation, one is direct. The same idea Shankaracharya takes in Atma Bodha and he gives example of Pakasya Vahnivat Jnanam. Just as fire is the direct means for cooking. So there are certain preparatory practices and then there is the direct aid. So Jnana Yoga is superior because it gives the direct Is it okay? Hmm? Now comes the very extraordinary verse. How much ever you hear, how much ever you do, the samshaya is not, is not going. How much ever you hear, how much ever you listen, how much ever you will be talking about this to others, the fundamental doubt doesn't, the fundamental doubt didn't, doesn't leave. What to do? How to gain this jnanam? What is it that you are missing that you are not able to gain this jnanam? Such an important verse. And uh, you can spend... Uh, Janmas on this verse. Don't worry, I will not spend many Janmas on Verse number 34 that we are going to read now. You can spend, you, literally you have to spend many Janmas on this verse. Then only it gets, then only the Samshaya, then only the Samshaya goes. Now he is coming to a very practical point of saying, 
how much ever you hear and listen and understand and all that what is it that you are missing that that jnanam is not happening what is it that you are what is it that you are missing he is he, he is providing that link he is providing that link the way in which he elaborated the 12 yagyas he didn't elaborate anything here he just says it and he quickly and he quickly moves on to the next ne next idea from 35 onwards he will move on to the next idea and this verse number 34 that we are going to study now is the vital link the vital link of what is missing that you are not able to gain people ask ulo nala ketna irukrom sir we have been listening to it for for decades for janma but nothing seems to nothing seems to happen tuli what all the benefit that knowledge what all vedanta says the benefit is going to come to you adala kinchit not even little bit is coming okay here and there i am able to manage the worldly problems here and there i am able to handle all that i am i am okay sir but the way in which uh, the benefits and moksha the quality of life that you are talking about and all is not happening though having heard and known the knowledge so much what is it verse number 34 we will read verse number 34 we will read very beautiful of quoted very famous mantra very famous verse from bhagavad gita 34 i am reading verse number 34 tat vidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshyante te gyanam gyaninas tattva darshinah தத்வித்தி பிரணிபாதேன பரிபிரஷ்ணேன சேவைய உபதேக்ஷியந்தி தே ஜானம் ஞானினஸ் தத்துவதர்ஷினக வெரி ரேர்லி ஹி கிவ்ஸ் அ கமாண்ட் தி கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் சச் அ வண்டர்ஃபுல் டீச்சர் ஹி நெவர் கமாண்ட்ஸ் ஹி நெவர் கிவ் எனி எனிதிங் அஸ் அ டைரக்ட் கமாண்ட் தத்வித்தி தத்வித்தி இஸ் அ கமாண்ட் tatviddhi means know that tatviddhi know that it's a command you have to uh, it is a command we don't receive it as a command is our problem clear yeah. satyam vada is a command we don't receive it it is our problem so the command he is giving what is the command tatviddhi tat means that viddhi no tatviddhi know that what you should know gyanam gyanam can be known only for pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya then upadekshyante then they will teach you abina adala edume pannaame zoom la vandu 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 teach pannine irukkele what is that pranipatena pariprashnena seva adala edume illame then they will teach you lacking these three lacking these three gyanam doesn't gyanam doesn't come at all because you lack to lack this what is that three tat vidhi know that pranipatena may you know may you know you will know that from whom the wise one who have realized the truth know that from the one who has realized the the truth and they will teach you and their teaching will make a change in you only when you have pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya each and every word i'll explain in detail 
each and every word we will we will take up in in detail first thing is pranipatena pranipatena means namaskara as a pranipate pranipatena means prostration prostration You can't ask a 60-year-old fellow to prostrate alone. Body will prostrate. The ego will stand erect only. I have seen it any number of times. Body will prostrate. Behind that body, you can see the ego. Yeah. If prostrate, panna will spine a pathapur. It will be so erect. The ego is so. The ego is so erect. The ego doesn't bend at all. So, paripa namaskaraha means it's not the bending of the body it is the bending of the ego what is ego bending means what is ego bending means what is ego bending means huh what does bend of ego means Ego bending means I will do what you ask me to do. That is bending. Ego is bending means I will do what, what I am asked to do. What I am told to do, what I am asked to do, I will do it. That is the bend of ego. That is the ego. Symbolically represented by the Namaskaraha, Ashtanga Namaskaraha, where the entire thing is at the, where the whole thing lies flat on the ground. Pranipatena, prostration. Pariprasnena, after prostration, you do questioning. Prasnena, questioning. Very a unique type of questioning, a special type of questioning. What is that Pariprasnena means? I know you are right. I am convinced you are right. You na yar. You na yar Guru. Ah, correct. Suresh, correct. Guru. I know you are right, but the mind in me is not yet willing to, the mind in me is not accepting that. The mind in me is not recognizing that. Therefore, give me some reason to quieten the, quieten the mind. That is Pariprasnayan. Purida. My mind is not willing because my mind is not willing to do it. That's why I am not willing to do it. That's why I am not willing to do it. I am not willing to do it. That's why bless me. How blessing will be done? I am saying do something and then bless me. It is meaningful. I have decided to murder somebody. Bless me. That I will. How it is possible? Yeah, that fellow also says, May God bless you. That is why he always says, Bless me, God bless you. He will never say, I am blessing. Why? Because where is that blessing possible? I have decided to do what I want to do and then bless me. I yeah, I'm just using Shekhar as an example. I'm using the I'm using him as an example. Where I have the example used when a camera close I'm being very I'm being very careful. Shekhar, correct? camera close I will not know who I am talking to. No. Why this knowledge is not yet materializing? Are you able to follow? Why this knowledge is not materializing? Because 
because that pariprasnena what is pariprasnena doubt is to the mind and this mind is not cooperating give me some reason to quieten that mind of mine adu pariprasnena i have a doubt sir clear clarify the doubt na he will say go back to karma yoga all that immediately go back to go back to karma yoga then. why because it is only prashnena but not pariprasnena are able to follow the difference hmm reasoning is not for my conviction the mind in me is not cooperating adu doubts adu vandu adu doubt pattukite irukud innu adu vandu stubborn a irukud it is not it is not yielding it is not willing to it is not willing to let go it is not willing to bend give me some reasoning give me some reasoning so that i can convince what i can convince this ahankara of mine this ahamkara of mine this aham bhava of mine needs some reasoning give me some reasoning to that adu pari prashnena purida prashnena nu sonnale porum questioning da what is pari prashnena this aham bhava of mine this ahamkara of mine is not willing to is not willing to bend is not willing to reason what should i do give me some reasoning idella and the upanishad padikanum irukku idella and the upanishad idella and the upanishadic level prashna upanishad says the, the 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 boy goes and surrender to this this happens in prashna upanishad he goes and surrenders to the guru and says give me this knowledge he says eka samvatsara be here and keep doing service after one samvatsara i will check on you and then decide to answer you eka samvatsara na one year question is asked today answer will be given one year later appo kuda i will decide whether you are so in the one year what what will be observed in you in one year in the pranipatena sevaya is it there in you one year it will be checked whether do you ipo adalla pannu matta don't worry yeah ena idella i told you no i always maintain this idu vandu kadha kalakshayam session da idella story session very good entertainment and time pass session da neither am i a enlightened person nor is anybody listening to me is an achiketus adanal inga onnu andha kavaleye kediyadinga that is why we can freely liberally talk about everything here ha huh? able to follow so in one year in prashna upanishad he says eka samvatsara stay here stay here and ask me this question after one year it is not that you come back after one year and ask this question ha 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 stay here and ask this question after one year abdina what i should do for this one year you will be assessed you will be checked what you will be checked what you will be assessed in the pranipatena seva irka if in one year you are able to convince that you have these two upadekshyante te gyanam that is the verse read the verse upadekshyante te gyanam then you will be taught then you will be then you will be taught abdina idnal varaikum pannadalla enna to convince you that one day you have to come to are you able to understand the link though hearing no though knowing so much though hearing all this having known what is it that is missing that gyanam is not yet happening why know that know that know that means know that gyanam by pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya so first ena sonu first we discussed what is first we discussed what is pranipatena namaskar this pranipatena has to start from early childhood that's why culturally 
the the children are taught to do prostration no any elder any elderly person comes the first thing that you have to do is stand in the line and and prostrate by and by what happens by and by there is a looking up to by and by you develop this attitude of you looking up to yeah ego looks up to itself wisdom looks up to everything else ego varthu varikum ego will ajnanam ego this ahankara this ahambhava looks up to itself as the i know this ahambhava this ahankara is what is called as i i know and as long as this ahambhava ahankara of i know is there you cannot gain this this pranipatena pravipashnena sevayala i am ready to do sir but idukalla disarvara madri guru hai to how to find out shishya assessing the guru ida uda Uh, ignorance there cannot be anything more ignorant than than this i am willing to do this service i am willing to do seva i will come to later i have not yet come to seva i am still discussing this pranipatena pariprashnena only i am willing to do all this but we should not get stuck with the wrong guru no sir adu ippalla guru nale last night also last night also i was saying hmm? last night also i was i was saying yeah. guru nale fear them nowadays and no no fault of anybody because what you don't realize what people don't realize is when there is one original product there will be 99 original market ku la varadhukku la duplicates will duplicates will flood the market this is the reality of this is the reality of life or original product varadhukku la 99 duplicates will will come and you will not know how to distinguish please understand it is not that you doesn't know how to distinguish you do not want to pay the price the person who is ready to pay the price will know where original is sold where duplicate is the person who doesn't want to pay the price now will have this difficulty are you able to follow the person who is willing to pay the price he will know exactly he will know exactly um, where it is what it is allah i am willing to serve but i need the right i need the right to guru in the 13th chapter acharyopasanam he says in the 13th chapter the qualities of the gyani qualities of the bhaktala he doesn't say acharyopasanam actually pata bhakti yogathula than sollirukona he doesn't say that in the 35 qualities of a bhakta he doesn't say acharyopasanam in the 20 qualities of the gyani in the 13th chapter he says acharya upasanam worshiping the guru swagurum pranamya swagurum pranamya elsewhere he says swagurum pranamya unless you do this knowledge will not transformation will not happen and what is seva service what seva you can do to the guru you can't say i will give you some ideas sir you can't say that no you can't go and tell him i will i will give you some ideas ninga inga adha explain pannirundhal ana idha ipdi better ah solirundhirukalam you could have you know in the mari solinda it would have been much better but you know better sir but i'm you don't give what seva you can do to the guru primarily guru doesn't need your seva 
you do seva for your karma you don't do seva to benefit the guru for guru doesn't need your your seva you do seva for your benefit you don't do seva for welfare of the guru huh? இல்லையா வெல்ஃபேர் பாவம் அவரும் கஷ்டப்படுறாரு இல்லையா அவரும் கஷ்டப்படுறாரு அவருடைய கஷ்டத்துக்கும் ஏதாவது அவரும் கஷ்டப்படுறாரு who can do who is sir who is serving whom therefore it is not at all necessary for the guru it is entirely necessary for the for the shishya seriya seva ya na it is i i have to do seva for myself not that guru needs it micha service ko guru service ko difference da in all other services the other needs that you go and do that what is the difference in all other areas in all other services that person is in need of that you go and give which that person is in need guru seva the guru says i don't not in an arrogant way not in a this thing way he says there is no seva because he doesn't need anything but still you do you have to do why because seva indicates the reciprocation seva is an indicator of reciprocation when you understand how much you are benefited reciprocation happens so seva is an indicator of how much you have understood that you are benefited are you able to follow seva comes seva is an external manifestation of the internal understanding of the benefit that you have received when you really understand the benefit that you have received what would you do what would you do in action it will be shown in action it will be it will be shown mentally you will show it verbally you will show it physically you will show it through kayam you will show through vacham you will show through manas you will show kayena vacha manasendriya irva manasam vachikam kayakam through all these three you will show that is seva seva means action that comes out of all the three what are the three the thought the word the deed what is the word what is the word wherever you go you you praise the guru gurum prakashate through word wherever you go ego says swayam prakashate it will glorify itself enga ponar are you able to see the difference now see wherever you go whatever you do in whatever words you talk you glorify yourself no now avlo la kashta patrukena who is you are glorifying yourself shishya wherever he goes gurum prakashate he glorifies the guru 
if you are not glorifying the guru don't worry self glorification da i am glorifying with all humility i am saying sir i am a very humble person ah huh? i am saying this with real humility only maybe ninga kuda konja arrogance la irukla maari irukla ena sometimes you also raise your voice and your words are very stinging so looks like ungal ungaltellam kuda konja ego la irukudhu adalla ninga konja paathukonga but uh, i am telling you with all humility i am a i am a very humble person and nobody can beat me in humility the most arrogant statement is to say i am very i am a humble person you know that no the most arrogant statement that you can make is i am very humble idu puriyathukke or buddhi venum illaya to understand that itself you need a so wherever you go gurum prakashate is seva verbal seva what is verbal seva gurum prakashate not not swayam prakashate because wherever the shishya goes because of his knowledge and understanding he is worshiped and he is praised immediately what the shishya says immediately what the shishya says correct now all alone kashtapattadhukku innikku dhan palan kadaikirada he will not say that he will say what whatsoever i know nothing is mine it is all it is all his so vachikam karma what is vachikam karma wherever you go you praise you praise the the guru kayakam karma physic uh, actions through the body what is that seva through the body mundaka upanishad parikshya lokan karma chitan this is mundaka upanishad mantra having examined the world thoroughly parikshya lokan karma chitan having examined the world thoroughly pariksha panni paathitaru parikshya lokan karma chitan having examined the world and associated actions in the world very thoroughly clearly having understood them as useless samitpani he carries samitpani shrotriyam brahmanishtam mundaka upanishad the same mantra he talks about both what is the shishya and what is the what is the guru to such a person the shrotriyam brahmanishtam will talk amit pani he has not even met the guru as yet he has not even seen the guru but he is ready for service adha da samit pani he has not even met the guru he has not even received any benefit from the guru as yet but that fellow is going in preparation what is the preparation preparation to serve the guru in the moon qualifications irunda if you have these three qualifications and if you have these three qualities that guru will teach you tattva darshinah tattva darshinah knowers of truth knowers of truth moon varsham course padichittu vandha aalunga alla kedaiyathu the person who has the person who actually knows it they will teach you that person will teach you but other receive pananu na you have to you need to be you should be able to receive it the problem is not with him not giving knowledge the problem is he is giving the guru is giving we are not it we are not willing to purify ourselves to receive it adu da that willingness is not there for that self purification and how do you how does the self purification happens pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya 
the wise who have realized the truth will teach abina what does it mean you cannot do it by yourself self help doesn't self help doesn't exist self help doesn't exist you have to learn it from the guru you have to learn it from the guru these are the days of ipo vandu ahambhavam ahamkara na solrathu very poor words because ahambhava and ahankara has become so deep and so strong nowadays we need to find new words to describe the ego of the person today why because they think that they can do it by bhagavad gita verse enna irukku nu mattum solli kudunga don't tell us what to do what not to do that and all all that we will know by ourselves adala naanga paathukrom what to do what not to do you don't tell us just teach what the verse is and what is the verse saying idella purinjikonumna paripranipatena pariprashnana sevaya is is required so what is established here without the guru you cannot you cannot study learn guru is essential and the guru nra vaarthai ipo solla mudiyadha na ellarum guru illaya business guru eppadi cheat pandradhu nu solli kudukkuradhukku or guru illaya avaru dhan business guru who is the business guru the fellow who teaches you how to cheat the other and the other will not even know that he is getting it yeah innu konja naal aachina terrorist guru there will be a guru to teach you how to tell a guru who is a guru what is guru darkness in you is the darkness in you is removed whoever removes the darkness that person is the guru shankaracharya goes on repeating it guru padu kavyam he says no guru padu kavyam guru padu kavyam every day prostrate he says every day every day prostrate guru padu kavyam guru padu kavyam guru kitta kuda pohada he says go on prostrate to his it is not a guru namaskara it is namaskara to the paduka paduka means guru padu kavyam not the feet yeah in the feet kitta porthu kuda i am not yet qualified so what i worship i worship the padukas padukas na enna artham avaru enna brand vaangi podraru nu paathu adu onnu vaangi veetla illa avaru vandu asics use pandraru nu adu vaangi vechukonu avaru nike use pandraru nu adu vaangi adu vaangi vechukonu na guru paduka vyam guru paduka vyam guru paduka vyam worshiping worshiping the worshiping the gurus padukas that with the it's a command know that know that know that by pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya without a guru you will not be able to without the guru you cannot do it by yourself ekalavya guru shishya disciple you know that 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 guru shishya sambandha we have wonderful uh, wonderful wonderful 
set of people. Ekalavya, extraordinary. Sitting in the forest, what all Dronacharya teaches them, he heard it here, he learnt it here. What all Dronacharya taught them in the Dronacharya was teaching the Pandavas and the Kauravas. The Pandavas, the Kauravas, Drishtadyumna, Ashwatthama. Dronacharya was teaching them and Ekalavya wasn't even hiding and watching all that. He was in somewhere else. Now the Guru would have started his lessons there and he starts the training here. Now what all the Guru teaches them there, he, he knows it. Yeah. Dronacharya asks him, who, who taught you all this? Who taught you all this? Ekalavya says, how can you ask this question? How can you ask this question? For you taught me this. You taught me this. Modern day language is called sink. 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 He is in sync with the Guru. So, what he taught there, he learnt it. He learnt it here. See, what was happening is Dronacharya taught one, one way of one one type of shooting to Arjuna, which is extremely difficult. What is it is? You shoot that fellow, that fellow will be just tied up. That's all. He will not be killed. He will be just tied up. He will not be killed. And, uh, and Dronacharya told uh, Arjuna that till date only two knows this Arjuna. Me. And obviously I know. That's why I, that's why I was able to teach you. No. Other fellow is you. So Arjuna thought, ah, right. So I have something very unique which my guru didn't teach others. With that pride, they all went hunting. And still Dronacharya, when they all go for hunting and all that, Dronacharya was doing his practice and his study. So carefully follow. Ekalavya got attuned to that also. When he is doing that, a dog was barking. His dog was barking and disturbing. So what he did, he shot arrows which just closed to the mouth of the dog, but the dog didn't get killed. And the dog ran away. And when the dog ran away, it ran through where these, uh, these fellows were camping. Arjuna saw that he was so angry, he came back to Dronacharya. How many people you taught like this? He asks. Literally, I am not exaggerating. This is the Mahabharata. He comes and asks, how many people have you taught like this? Dronacharya says, what are you talking, Arjuna? I don't understand what are you talking. You told me you only taught me. See, this fellow has shot like that. It means you have taught somebody else also. Dronacharya says, come let us go and find out who shot that. That is how Dronacharya meets Ekalavya. Are you able to know that this is the story? And then Dronacharya comes. Ekalavya asks, now that you have come to see me, my education is over. Now that you have come, my education is over. What should I give you as Guru Dakshina? Dronacharya says, how can I? Yeah. But I am not like that. I have never taught you anything. How can I take Guru Dakshina from, from you? Look at the Guru and look at the Sishya. The Guru says, I have not. Because all this you learnt by all this you learned by yourself. What did I? What did I teach you? 
plus Rishi as S. Without you, I could not have gotten this. I need to give you Guru Dakshina. What? I should give you last Ahambhava. Last Ahambhava. What is the last Ahambhava? Archerin Rahambhava. That Archer Rahambhava. The Archer Rahambhava, how to cut that? So Dronacharya said, okay, now that you are insisting that I have to take Guru Dakshina, Anguli Mala Madri, cut your, cut your, cut your, cut your thumb and give it. Uh, if the thumb goes, all the knowledge of archery becomes useless after that. Why? Because you can't, you can't, you can't pull. And Ekalavya, without blinking, gives. Dronacharya Agatar in the disciples love only one fellow attained moksha. That is that is Ekalavya. Arjuna Bhagavad Gita Kedalam would have nothing happened to him. Even after listening to Bhagavad Gita Lam would have nothing happened to Arjuna. But that boy, what is it? Every morning, Ekalavya. He had an image of Dronacharya. Pranipatena. Pariprasnena. Sevaya. When you develop these, the Guru will come and, and teach and you cannot learn it by you cannot learn it by yourself. If you have not done service to the Guru, that ingratitude produces mental unrest. You don't know the cause and effect. Please understand, even when he says, do seva to the Guru, it is for your karma, as I said. What is the karma? When you have received knowledge and not, and not recognized that and served, there will be a lot of mental unrest. And that mental unrest goes only by Seva, service. Therefore, do. Therefore, do. Seva. Pranipatena, Pariprasnena, Sevaya. And this verse, Allah, I will not continue to the next class. One class is in the verse over. After that, we can go into, you know, this is the As I told you, the rest of the Janma, I can speak on this. I can speak on this verse. Why service is indicated as a necessary discipline? It will, it will bring the mental unrest down. The mental unrest is because of ingratitude. Not recognized the benefit received and not repaying that is the karma, the mental unrest. You have received the benefit from him. You go and you go and give it. Pranipatena Pariprasnena Sevaya. What is Pranipatena? Prostration. Namaskaraha. That is the culture. Meaning when you are culturally brought up to do namaskara, the ego is bending the ego becomes that much easy. Provided you, 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 you supplement it with knowledge and understanding and all that. Illana, the very fact that you are doing namaskara will give so much of ego to you. So it is prostration. Second is pariprasnena. What is pariprasnena means? This mind of mine is having doubts. Swamiji. This mind of mine is having doubts. Give me some reasoning to quieten. 
this stupid mind of mine is pariprasnen i don't need clarification for i am taking the command and executing the command are you able to follow i take the command and i execute the command but on the purity on the when i am executing the command the mind comes and pollutes it and when the mind is polluting it i need some i need some reasoning to tell the mind give me some give me some reasonings that is pariprasnena seriya sevaya seva is an indicator of your gratitude seva is the direct indicator of your gratitude to what extent you serve to that extent you have gratitude and seva is seva means in action and action means of three what are the three manasam vachikam ayakam vachikam karma i explained that what is vachikam karma wherever you go you praise wherever you go through your words whom do you praise what do you talk about gurum prakashate chandogya upanishad says that the shishya has to prakasha the guru avare prakasha padtiku kuda adu avare prakasha padtiku kuda adu ego already yeah gurum prakashate wherever that is where krishna says this i learned from my masters this is gurum prakashate are you able to follow krishna says this is what i learned from my masters and that master says this is what i learned from my master this is called gurum prakashate through vachikam karma and then and then comes kayakam karma physical service also physical service like in prashna upanishad he says eka samvatsara stay here for one year and keep serving apra i will choose whether you are qualified to to teach or abna oru varshath in a free service free service to whom to the to guru all this qualifies you to receive the knowledge now you work backwards after hearing so much of shravana and manana where every one of us can give a non stop one and a half hours discourse also to another still it is not still no change in the personality means you can't read one more book you can't read one more book you can't read one more class you can't ask me to start one more class illaya sir innu or class edungala adula vandruma pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya are you able to follow you have this the guru will come and the guru will come and teach you 35 36 37 and the guru kudukra knowledge node benefit 35 36 and 37 which i am not going to do today this is verse number 34 Yeah. Is it okay? So there are some clarifications which I try to I'll try to see how much I can I can take. Shailesh. If the jiva is not the subtle body and is neither Brahman. then what is the jiva jiva is ignorance jiva is ignorance that ignorance which causes this distinction of two the ignorance which causes the distinction of the two are you able to follow shailesh so what is jiva ignorance is that jiva what is ignorance 
the, the duality. What is the duality? God and me are separate. The devotee and the God to which I am devoted to is two. That, that segregation is ignorance. Which is what we call it as Jiva. Are you okay, Shailesh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Then, which is the long wooden chapels, footwear, feet, service, and all more. Okay, you can do me. Shankar, you can do me. They are SRL Shankar. Shankar, you can do to me also, sir. 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 Praise me also once in a while, he is saying. So I am assuming it is SRL Shankar. Correct? SRL Shankar. Our insult to insult me also. Why, why are you only insulting him? Yeah. Who, will, who will not retaliate and He is saying hurt me also. Don't so SR Adwar the Linda Navan Chigra, SR Shankar. So we were in the pair Shankar. And Shankar. And, 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 and uh, you are all the witness, huh? For this, you Ningle on the Sakshi. Our volunteer get at the next week. Lend our boom. Prasanna, is it only ingratitude and non repayment to the Guru that can cause mental unrest, or can there be other reasons? For mental unrest, ingratitude is the reason. For mental unrest, ingratitude is the reason for mental unrest. Now, I have received from very many in the order of subtlety. I have received from many in the order of subtlety. What did I receive from my mother? The body I received. The womb, she kept me in the womb for nine months, protected me. So I am grateful to that. Father, I received something from the father. I received, I am grateful to that. I received something from the school teacher. I am grateful to that. I received something from my friends. I am grateful to that. But all these gratitude will not make you mentally free completely. Why? Because these are all temporary benefits that you have received. The Guru comes and gives you something which is qualitatively different. What is the qualitatively different thing that the Guru does? He gives moksha. Correct. Book the moksham, there is moksha for you in Soldrathika, there is a book. There is the moksha for you in Soldrathika, there is the book. Moksha is there when the guru says it. It makes a whole lot of a difference. The words gain life. The words gather life. The words of the shastras gather life only when it comes through the Guru. So, Guru does two things. What? He is giving you the knowledge. He is giving life to the Shastras as it were. Guru will not say all this. Guru says, it is the Shastra, but I didn't say anything. That is, the Guru says. Now, I am purely talking from the angle of the Sishya only. So, from the angle of the Sishya, what happens? The words of the Shastra gains meaning only because of it came through the Guru. So, what happens? Gratitude to the Guru. 
what is gratitude to the guru again first is what is gratitude to the guru first is when you say you have received gratitude and you want to show your gratitude what is showing gratitude accepting him as an authority and obeying his command is showing gratitude that will remove the mental unrest are able to follow gratitude and accepting him as an authority him or her whatever the guru, whoever the guru is accepting the guru as an authority and obeying and obedience to that command is the way in which gratitude is is the way in which gratitude is shown to the guru and this gratitude quietens the mental and rest and the presence of the shishya and seva to the guru allah is a pain and nuisance to the guru it's all avroda idu idella or periya it's a nuisance but still he willingly goes through that for what so that your mental unrest comes down and when your mental unrest comes down you are in a better position to digest what he has taught you are able to follow therefore it is ingratitude that causes mental unrest in the order of in the in the order of subtlety uh, i was about to use the word superiority which is a wrong word to use in the order of in the order of subtlety and what is the subtlest the guru so what i have to do i have to be grateful and what is gratitude accepting the guru as the authority na i have to see when i accept when i when i accept somebody as an authority i have to immediately obey the command then only authority is accepted indian constitution is an authority na i have to i obey that i follow that i can't say indian constitution an authority but i will not obey that na then it is not the right the way of doing it are you able to follow what i am saying therefore can there be any other reasons this is the reason seriya so, yeah. please explain pariprashnena again don't worry adutha class le idinu irukku summa poi sonna inniyoda mudikiran solittu inniyoda la mudikilla i am going to i am going to talk about this pranipatena pariprashnena seva in the next class also ena the technicalities ku lala na inum povey illa there are some more things in a, for this for this pranipatha and vari prashnena and seva when i go there i will describe uh, i will try to explain vari prashnena again but for today i gave you the formula upon which we will develop the idea of vari prashnena the formula upon which we will develop the idea of vari prashnena is i remove myself from the doubt doubt i say is belonging to the mind and i need the cooperation of the mind adukku give me some reason nu kekkaru adhu dhaan pariprashne that is why he uses the word special type of questioning nu artham pariprashne na means unique type of questioning a special type of questioning what is the special type of questioning neenga solradhu puriyave maatendradhu sir adhu kedaiyadhu neenga solradhu purinjikave mudiyadhu i tell this to the guru you not telling me we all say this to other guru what the guru says cannot be cannot be understood full stop but this mind this mind of mine guru ukandita rodi eating me up from inside coin mind mind i am coming up with so many coming up with so much of clarifications and all that give me something so that i can quieten that i can quieten that mind that you question with this attitude 
when you are questioning with this attitude of you not gaining clarity but to quieten the mind is called pariprasnena seriya ardi prasad abdi paagrar idu enna poos poosa solli ne irukrar abdi abdi paagrar avaru illa ak theriyudha enak why new new va he keeps saying but all new new things is making it more and more impractical da not making it any not making it anything beneficial la illa it is making it making it more and more difficult and tougher this verse is like that prasad na enna panna mudiyum pari prashne na and prasanna has asked this question very good he asked what is pari prashne na you don't ask a question to gain clarity guru says i am teaching you to give clarity what the shishya says shishya says command i want i don't need explanation from you tell me what i should tell me what i should what i should do shishya steham shadimam tvam prapannam krishna tell me what i should do 650 verses of explanation la enak vanda shishya says command i will do that but the guru knows what even though he is saying i am into a shishya nakuda he has not yet matured into a a shishya why because mind is still so dominant having lot of doubts and this mind has to be and this mind has to be attended to and how to attend to the mind give some reasons to the mind and where do you get the reason to quieten the mind from the same guru and all the our kitte rendu solrom what is it i don't need any explanation but explain i don't need any reasoning but give me some give me some reasoning are you able to follow idam pariprashne why because i am convinced that my moksha is in you my liberation is through you i am convinced i am convinced na mind summa irukirad illaya mind comes up with its own doubts no mind comes up with its own doubts mind comes up with its own insecurities mind comes up with its own threat adu paper tharandu paatha illaya jail ku la poi paatha terrorist oda gurus tha nariya irukranga jail la ipo illaya number of gurus in jail and number of terrorist in jail na no? gurus are occupying more cells than the others in the mind comes up with its own its own doubts and all that pari prashne na seriya prasanna yeah i am uh, i will continue it in the next the, there is some more i will continue it in the next session also avula sikram la we will not avula sikram la i will not go to the next verse alone good strain mari i will stay put in oru station ni konja neram ukkarano adu good strain mari ukkarano appo da enakku or satisfaction okay prasanna yes sir yeah why mohan why mind doesn't get tired on the pleasure but in pain it does mohan mind gets tired on pleasure also you can't say that it is wrong to say mind doesn't get tired of pleasure mind gets tired of pleasure what is mind getting tired of pleasure bore adigirad sir nu you say no i am bored sir unga class romba bore adigirad na enna artham you are boredom is pleasure mind is when the mind gets tired of pleasure it says i am bored when the mind gets tired of suffering it says i am in pain prida bored amna when you say i am bored pre suffocated with boredom sir i really don't know what to do and if you look at the fellow who is bored he will have everything around him then only he will be bored correct so it is wrong to say 
mind doesn't get tired on the pleasure it is wrong mind gets tired of pleasure and mind gets tired of sukha and dukkha sukha tukku it gets tired adu than boredom dukkha tukku it gets pain so it wants to get out of boredom and it wants to get out of pain are able to follow therefore it is wrong to say that mind doesn't get tired of pleasure mind is tired of both mind is tired of pleasure as well as pain percentage wise paathamna pain jaasti iruk avladha percentage wise it may appear to be more avladha but answer is it gets tired of both it gets tired of both pleasure and pain is it okay mohan avaru konja irunga 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 ungala unmute pananum ah solunga ipo is he unmuted or nobody likes your voice mohan உங்களை அன்மியூட் பண்றதுக்கு நோ படி இஸ் வில்லிங் டு அன்மியூட் யூ ஆர் ஐ தென் தென் செட் நோ நோ படி யூ ஆர் நாட் ஐ ஆர் போர்ட் ஆஃப் யூ அண்ட் ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரேட்டட் ஆஃப் யூ ஆ சொல்லுங்க சார் ஐ திங்க் only the percentage varies i think the pain yes. uh, is very high the boredom is relatively less correct But by nature of the mind we start for more and more pleasure continuously whether it is hours bored correct we still we want pleasure pleasure correct, pleasure correct correct that's what i said life is right. gone in, in the, search of the, this pleasure and the, and the percentage proportion that different it is only the difference of proportion but okay. nevertheless it uh, still it exist still it exist do you ever know suicide out of boredom is more than suicide out of pain you know that எல்லாம் but on the level ku varadhuk swami ji says no like a joke if i have to curse somebody what he will curse like a joke he says no if i have to curse somebody i will not curse anybody but if i have to curse somebody i will curse what may you become a multi billionaire <laughs> may you become a multi billionaire everybody says and bless pannunga bless pannunga bless pannunga bless me that i will become a multi billionaire wealth fatigue syndrome he talks about it boredom yes, wealth fatigue syndrome. boredom and that is extremely painful uh-huh. that is extremely painful. painful so in that way pleasure also causes boredom which is another kind of for want of words i am using the word pain again seriya okay sir so mind goes through both is it okay okay yeah last one with this i conclude shiva gyanam in ekalaiva guru bhava itself enlightened him how remotely learning and intellectual growth happens through bhava shiva gyanam adu story ரியல் லைஃப்ல டைரக்டா பண்ணணும் ஏக்கலைவ மாதிரி நான் சிங்க் ஆகிக்கட்டுமான்னு ஆஸ்கிங் இஸ் ஏக்கலைவ ஸ்டோரி இட்ஸ் எ வெரி குட் எக்ஸ்கூஸ் சார் இந்த சிங்க்லயே அப்படியே கத்துன்ற எல்லாமே டோன்ட் ட்ரை தட்ட சிவஜானம் அதெல்லாம் நடக்காது பிரணிபாத்தேன பரிபிரஷ்னே சேவையா டைரக்ட்லி ஹாஸ் டு பி டைரக்ட்லி ஹாஸ் டு பி டன் what it means is in that in that uh, ekalaiva story what i was trying to explain is that what is that 
how learning happens when he has this bhava hmm? to start with you have to do pranipatena pariprashnana sevaya ella direct ah seriya okay ah enga building la open pantaangala my building is open now purinja seri illana illaya tube light ah irundha onnu sey mudiyadhu my building shekhar building is open now நேத்துல இருந்து ஓபன் பண்ணிட்டோம் நியூஸ் போட்டிருக்காங்க குரூப்ல இன்னைக்கு யாருக்காவது கொரோனா வந்திருக்கும் க்ளோஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க சாயங்காலத்துக்குள்ள அது வேற கதை சரியா சிவகானம் பிரணிபாதேன பரிபிரஷன சேவையா ஆல் ஹாஸ் டு பி டன் டைரக்ட்லி குரு பிரசாத் ஹவு டு ரெஸ்பாண்ட் டு அ பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் ஈகோஸ்டிக் அண்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி இஃப் வி ஆர் இன் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வித் தட் பர்சன் குரு பிரசாத் இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் how to respond to a person who is egoistic and especially if you are in relationship with that person egoistic person oda relationship e vechikudadu if you have if you have to have a relationship with the egoistic person you have to be ready to pay the you have to be you have to willingly accept the consequences what are the consequences of relating to a egoistic person what are the consequences of relating to a egoistic person the consequences of relating to an egoistic person is how much ever you do they will come back and say what have you done adda how much ever you do they will they will turn back and say what have you done and then you give a list of what all you have done idella or periya vishayama how as do you deserve a nobel prize for this the consequences of associating with the egoistic person is what suffocation you will be suffocated when you are associating with the egoistic person you will be suffocated what is the suffocation you cater to that person you pamper that person you cater to that person you pamper that person how much ever you cater and pamper the end result of the relationship is deterioration in that relationship fault is not with other person fault is not with you also when two egoistic persons associate this is what will happen of the two even if one is not egoistic there will not be a relationship problem at all the relationship problem arises only when both are egoistic vedanta says you can't do anything to remove the ego of the other person but you can remove your ego therefore this is how you can how to deal with the person who is egoistic you remove your ego then you can have a wonderful relationship with that the person otherwise one blind person associating with another blind person one ignorant person associating with another ignorant person hmm? one ignorant person associating with another ignorant person both will not become knowledgeable no one ignorant person associating with another ignorant person what will be the result of that relationship just the ignorance tha so at least one has to be knowledgeable guru prasad with this we conclude for today and we is it okay guru with this we um, we conclude for today and we continue next week hari om